Okay. So here's a very overgrown, overgrown girl, just to show you. And she doesn't have a good natural hair. It's floppy. She actually doesn't grow very much hair in her muzzle. So we'll show you what, what to do, or at least what you can do. So to make this style pop a little bit more, I like to take more length off the brow. Now, when I'm doing this, I'm not digging in as much as I could. I'm kind of skimming a little bit because sometimes I don't want to take off too much. I might go back and change my mind. But at first, I'm kind of setting in the shape. Now, her, of course, she has a previous shape set in. But if I was didn't have any shape set in, I'm going to take the ear. You can do one, two. I'm doing about two finger widths. So you would take your comb. You know, here, let's see. Let's see. Turn your head, baby. I would draw my line. See? So you could then clip or use a chunkers or something. I wonder if I want to keep that or not. I'm going to keep where my old line was. So, I was going to... Now be aware of this hair down here. You don't want to automatically clip it off. Because sometimes you'll use it. Oops, oh, sorry. Now let's do your throat and then you can see what we're doing. Oh, cute she looks already, right? Taking all that length off. So, say, for example, I want to continue that wing look. See how the hair underneath would add to it? Especially with a girl who doesn't have much hair. So, we will grab some thinny shears. Turn your face. So if you had that hair held back, you can set your shape in with blenders or chunkers. I tend to be impatient and grab my chunkers first and then go back with blenders and then crisp up a line with curved shears. Good girl. I have my fingers over her muzzle, but also if I'm going to be working around the lips, I actually put my finger underneath in her throat latch so she cannot stick her tongue out. I don't do it the whole time I'm holding her though because so she can breathe good. So I would make different choices if she had more muzzle hair. She doesn't. So I have to make everything blend in. And you're such a cute pants. Oh, I hear somebody outside in the street. <laughs> Beautiful day out. Got the windows open now. Turn your face. Let's see what I'm doing. Good girl. My goal is to make a nice distinct shape. Close your mouth, please. Good girl. I don't normally do half a head like this, but I thought it would be kind of a good way for you to compare. Plus, with the camera here, it's kind of hard for me to work on the left side. <laughs> so, there's nothing really fancy about this trim, to be honest. But I'm basically trying to make her not look plain. These are Utsami Super Curves, if anybody's wanting to know. Available on the website. Oh, you're such a good girl. You have lots of choices that you can do with um, with her ears. She could have the tipped ears, a typical Yorkie ear, but because because the rest of her trim is, you know, she doesn't have much muzzle hair and stuff. I don't have a lot of options, so I chose on her to instead keep as much drama as I could by keeping the hair on the ear. But instead of letting it all grow long, I have been. Uh, 
cutting the cutting the tips. So instead of being like a shaved tip, I'm just doing kind of like a round tip on it so that it still will stick up. See, it still sticks up, but then I'm leaving a little bit more um, length. I'm not having it be as long and silky as I would maybe on a different dog, but there we go. So here I'm just giving it some shape determines how it will lay. Oh, I turned my air conditioner back on. You warm, baby girl? So when I see how the hair lays, I can see that it likes to, it's, it's quite long right here. Now, you can choose you can choose to um, leave a lot more from the inner of the head to support the ear. I've got quite a bit extra in here, helping out that ear. So what I'm looking at is that when the, as the hair moves around, what's going to end up sticking out is what I'm looking at. Another way to do this. Here, pick up your head a little bit. Up, 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 up. Good girl. What? Yeah, that helped. Thanks, Abers. Thanks a lot. So this is where you can choose if you didn't if you wanted to make it go short into the neck, well then you would shorten it and have turn your head, a much shorter little ear. Or you can choose to have it go down and have I've got hair supporting it in the neck, so you've got this nice big fan that when your ears are up, it's quite cute. So now let's try and blend your other side. I'll show you our line really quick. People want to see what you're doing here. So you have my hair in front of two fingers. There isn't a fast rule on that. You can and totally adjust that. If a dog has copious amounts of hair, then you can get away with less. I'm basically trying to make up for her lack of face hair, is what I'm doing. Sorry, I had to put the air conditioning on. It is just too nice out today. And I was cold this morning. Stupid meat cranked the heat. Alright. on the other side. 
I'm folding the ear in half. Oh, sorry. I'm folding the ear in half. I'm trying to hold it up, like when she's perked in an expression. Abers. Oh, you got in trouble. Why? Where? Oh, you're not in trouble. Come here. Yeah, you got jowls. You got jowls. Well, you get the rough approximate idea, right? So, short brow. You can do a strip down here, deciding on how big you want to make it. Rounded ears and layered ends. I actually probably will grow these to a little bit more of a point instead of being so blunt. And then I'm going to move on to the pineapple trim.